Welcome everybody, back to Power World. Uh, it's been a long time since I played Power World. Um, the professor hasn't... Uh, give me one second, everybody's sending me like 20 messages. What is going on? Ah, okay, never mind, that was just something I asked for. But yeah, uh, from yesterday, if anybody is here that remembers about what was going- if you were here last yesterday, um, I was a little bit stressed out a couple of weeks ago because of school, and I ended up uh, probably failing anyways, uh, thanks to the professor's um, vagueness. Let's go ahead and put it that way. <clears throat> anyways, uh, might have to retake the class with a different professor this time, fuck that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and- uh, but that's for another day. For right now, and today, it's a nice day because we're playing Power World again. I know that the audience for Power World has gone down a little bit since last time I played. I think there's like there was like 20,000 uh, watching, now there's only 2,000 people in total watching. But it's okay, I mean, the updates are gonna come soon, or rather than later, and it's still better than any Pokemon game so far. Um, well, in the most current years anyways. So let's get started. We're gonna st I did play a little bit today, I, not really, I just went ahead and made sure that everything worked because of the, I moved documents to another folder. Everything seems- Ah, uh, hey Silent One, welcome to the stream, hi up how? So yeah, I just made sure- I opened it up today just to make sure everything still worked. I think all the mods are still working, I think the files are still working, and I mean Jet Force is still there and so are my pals. Okay, so a thing about it is that I actually played it a little bit without um, stream going on, but now that I'm playing, it was so smooth, like butter. And now that I have every streaming and my model, obviously, and everything else going on, uh, it's a little bit more laggy, but hopefully still playable. What? Hmm? Hmm. Oof. What? So, we're gonna take things, uh, I wouldn't say slow. I'm just gonna go ahead and try yeah. to, uh, the sun's lighting. I'm gonna try to do that, uh, the base over there. I know that I've been saying that for, I don't even know how long this, at this point. But I'm still not confident that with my three shot uh, bow, I'm going to be able to take care of that thing. Oh! What? Welcome back from work, I hope everything, all uh, your day was nice, uh, Tyler One. Uh, if you don't mind uh, asking, what are you cooking? I'm a foodie, so... One sec. <coughs> uh, oh god, I'm sorry about that. So I like any kind of food. <laughs> I did sneeze inside of my shirt, so um, my model might have freaked out a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, wrong one, but that's a big fox. Hmm. Oh. I realized that I'm just running around like an idiot. Well, I could have just ran back to base. I was debating between actually uh, switching off the models of Katia for the. Dino Gouda one, but I'm not sure about how. I'm not gonna mess with Japanese companies, especially when it comes to just how. Uh, like what? the Imperial Jap Japan died, and all of that Imperialness went to like their companies, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Sign of One, I hope you are. Uh, your food is good. <laughs> oh. And I almost drowned there. And uh, that's my house right there. And that's the guy I have working on my house right there. <laughs> Let's see, go. Just making some simple chicken because I've been used twice. Oh, that's nice. Chicken because I've been used with beans and rice on the side. Remember to toast that. Uh, 
that thing uh, good and make that cheese melt. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm a foodie. One of the reasons why. It's not a good combination. I like food and I'm also uh, and I'm also very lazy. It causes fatness to occur, so that's not a good combo. Uh, I'm working on it. I actually am gonna work out after uh, streaming today. Actually, no. Yeah, I have to. After stream today at eight, I'm gonna work out maybe 30 minutes on the treadmill, then take a shower, then get ready for D and D, and then go to sleep. Hmm? Give me everybody one second. Okay, just making sure everything is running smoothly. So everybody's asleep. Although I cannot waste too many more days. Uh, I'm not gonna fight that thing. Oh, it's running smooth now. I don't know if that's just because of the base that I am uh, more familiar with or what. But, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Shit. Do not know what I did, but... Hopefully it stays the same. Uh, water bottle. Remember to drink, everybody. <clears throat> so why is the wall fortress level 14? Whatever. I need to find a way to level up that is not catching pals, just due to the fact that I want to make sure to leave that XP to when XP comes uh, rather difficultly. I think much berry. That's a lot of berries. Let's go for 411. I think it's a good number. And with this, I'll be able to generate the berries and generate XP while just sitting down and chatting to you, chat. Yeah, uh, to talking to you, chat. I mean, not really, though. <laughs> um, I need that double check. Uh, anything else happened since yesterday's stream? Not really. Uh, we made food. I made some... Ugh. So here's the thing. Um, celery is nice. <laughs> Fucking sound like what it is. Celery is nice. <laughs> uh, celery is nice to eat it and um... In a case by case scenario, you know, eating it raw sometimes is good, eating it with some other food sometimes is good. Uh, we made this cold pasta with uh, ham chunks. Celery does not go well with that. It's. I'm expecting. Uh, maybe it's. Maybe it does. Maybe it tastes actually okay, but it's just the. Uh, the terms of position. Basically, if, if you're eating something that you're expecting to be a certain taste and then you taste something different. It doesn't matter if you're that other taste that you usually, uh, you know, it wouldn't be just pleasurable or it would be even like good in another way. But if you're expecting one taste and you get something else, it's always a jarring experience. I'll give you a good example. Let's say somebody gives you, uh, let's say you like spicy food, right? Uh, you know, spicy food, always good, really nice taste, um, whatever. And somebody was like, oh, hey, here you go, there's some strawberries covered in chocolate, and you, like, oh, I mean, sweet tasting, I mean, I, li I like those strawberries too, and you eat one and it's fucking spicy as hell. <laughs> You'll spit it out, and it doesn't matter if you like spicy food, you'll be like, what the fuck was that? Or you're eating something soft like jello, and then you feel something crunchy, like, no. It's just the... You expect something and then you get something else in return. Uh, uh, feeling, and that's probably what it is whenever I ate like this uh, cold, like, uh, cold pasta with the celery. Ugh, didn't like it. Um, probably gonna have my brother eat all of it. <laughs> I think he did like it, so I mean, that's his own business. If he likes it, then he can eat it. Uh, he can eat all of it. There's also refried beans. Uh, we put them in the slow cooker, but then I, you know, they, we left it outside for a little bit too long, so she, my mom went ahead and put it inside of a uh, frying pan, fried them again, uh, and actually made, uh, it actually tastes really good. And we had ramen, um, 
Marusha, to be exact. Uh, we already finished that, so it was just like one, uh, two of those little bags inside of the pot. Uh, we ate up both of them. Uh, my brother and my friend. Uh, his friend. Uh, yes, actually, uh, my brother's friend actually left uh, yesterday. So, yeah, it wasn't gonna be like a week, uh, an entire week thing. I mean, they've been here for like the last few days anyway, so they got their fun in. Uh, he right now, my brother is playing probably Minecraft or Roblox. Hopefully, Minecraft, I hate Roblox. Um, in the other room. Yeah, uh, well, my computer is in my room. He computer is in the other room. Oh, hey, it's morning time. Uh, experience wise, I think I managed to make a good, pro uh, good amount of progress. Actually, and now that the frost thing is helping me, I actually, hold up. I'm a little bit stupid. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> now it should go a little bit faster. Hopefully. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so... The fox thing. I don't know why my brain... Probably because I'm pl playing as a Saturn right now, uh, and I am a Saturn, I guess. I just keep calling them dog thing, fox thing, the flop thing. <laughs> Which is fun because I got that uh, holding house, and I guess uh, it's Pokemon, dude. I got it from like um, Pokemon whenever I uh, was doing my first Nuzlocke. I think it was. Uh, I don't even remember what Nuzlocke it was. Uh, what game it was, sorry. All I remember is that I got my shit kicked out of my, me by one fire gem. I don't even know what it was. But I remember not playing the game anymore. And I mean, I beat two Nuzlocke, I lost one, and I haven't done Nuzlocke in a while, actually. No, 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 I like the last Nuzlocke I remember doing is in Sword and Shield. Uh, I don't remember how long ago, but it's probably been over a year now. Yeah. That game I can I remember buying that game uh, whenever it, was, it first came out and I was like, oh, I have to make more space in my SD card uh, for me to switch. Uh, and also, just see what that might Ah, okay. Give me one second. Let me go ahead and actually turn the box down a little. Uh, tell me if that works, by the way. I also don't want to uh, turn on the volume, uh, turn on the volume or like the noise gate when it comes to the microphone because of the fact that actually the move close to me. Uh, the fact that my little brother does not know how to control his volume, he always speaks it at eighty percent, so in, in a hundred percent category, especially when he's playing games and his, you know, he cannot control his emotions, so he's always like, ah! like a, because his voice is changing right now. And he sounds like uh Curious the Cowardly Dog on Helium. <laughs> and also throwing a rooster in there for extra credit. So and also the there's uh, the washing machine is like the you know the walls and over uh, are like almost paper thin. So the washing machine is like in the hallway right across the wall that I'm in right now, so I don't want you guys to be uh you know, be like the entire time. Okay, just make sure uh, you can hear me, right, Talon One? I mean, I'm talking with now, so. Okay. Uh, if it gets bad again, just go ahead and tell me. But I will be go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, talking right now. Hopefully, it's the settings it has right now are good. Okay. So I also have uh, the 3D printer. 
I need to go ahead and get time to go buy that extension cord uh, for the USB so that I can actually plug it into my computer because as of right now, it's just sitting to the right of my computer not being able to print anything because it's not. I cannot plug it in. Uh, but there's literally nowhere else in the room or in the computer or in this place anyways that I could put it uh, and use it. So that's the predicament I'm in right now. So I do want to actually use the printer because I know my... Uh, I was going to say my cousin, but no, fuck her. Uh, she is not... She is not... She's a brat. And she needs to learn a lesson before I go ahead and do any favor for her. So I'm not printing stuff out for her because she had like this little um, stall that she likes to sell stuff in. And my mom went ahead and helped her. And you know, she helped her put the spot in, she helped her sell the stuff, and while well, she usually just sat around and uh, had this uh, expression of like, I hate everything in her face. But I believe this month, or maybe next month, I'm not sure, but the 26th, I believe they're going to have another one of those sales. So. The, my mom was like, it, but then she went ahead and was like, well, you should probably go ahead and um, buy your own spot, otherwise you're not going to be able to go. Especially, uh, you know how it is with that little, like, um, saying stuff without saying the thing, basically. It's just like, uh, ooh, you should buy a new spot, basically telling her that you don't even think about um, using my spot because of the fact that she is really greedy. And she, I don't know, she does not like the fact that people can have better stuff if it be better stuff than her she's very much of a show off and she very much uh, does not like sharing stuff at all so yeah basically she said that in a way so that it would imply that hey uh, don't expect to come sell me because she liked the free labor but she hates the fact that my mom would be selling stuff too because she is very envious and she thinks that anything that she sells is going to be something that she can't sell so essentially what ended up happening is that they have this account where they buy stuff online and but they're using my credit card uh, to buy it I mean they pay it back don't worry about it but the thing is that they're, uh, they're using my credit card to buy the stuff so my little to my cousin was like oh yeah the, like you know get us your own spot basically like that and I was like, cool, get your own credit card. Uh, you cannot use mine anymore to buy stuff. And my mom was like, really like, oh, I mean, don't do that. Like, come on. No, fuck that shit. If she's going to be a little bitch about it, I'm going to be a bitch too. Like, no. She cannot use my shit if she's going to be that uh, much of a greedy asshole. Like, I get it with other people, but we're fucking family. Fuck that shit. And here, this, uh, this is why I'm doing streaming, by the way, because this is my therapy session. I can afford therapy. I'm broke. <laughs> so this is my therapy sessions right now. And unfortunately, all of you are my shrinks. <laughs> uh, not really, though. Uh, it doesn't really affect me that much. I just will go. I am more of a go with the flow kind of person. So, you know. Uh, if she wants to be uh, the bitch about it, I'll be one too, and just like, cool, you can't use my shit. And that's the end of it. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have iron. Let's go ahead and have the fox thing do some iron. Uh, 20 should be okay. Okay, so, oh, hold up, let me see if actually my microphone is, nope, that's muting my microphone, oh, you don't want me to be your shrink, that's bad, yeah, I'm gonna follow to my own little, <laughs> uh, fair enough, uh, fair enough, but, I mean, to be fair, I'm not gonna go ahead and apply all the advice you guys give me in my real life, I just like to, you know, download it, it's not like a shrink, it's more of a, Diary, I guess, would be a better way to put y'all in. And this guy is stuck, not the syndicate thug. The wandering merchant got stuck, so there you go. Can you actually do something now, or are you gonna stay stuck? Please tell me you have. Nah, goddammit, he doesn't have bullets. I thought he was gonna have bullets. 
I was so excited when I saw a green merchant just wandering around. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Um, I am disappointed about that, even even right now. It has been, I don't even fucking know how long since I did it, but... Oh hey, I leveled up! I was thinking about what, uh, what other stuff that I could do really quickly to level up, but I guess, um... Yeah, I leveled up without even trying. And I know I have to do the cooler box, unfortunately. Uh, what else do I need, actually? I don't think there's anything else that I need right now. Let me go ahead and build that crossbow. What? But yeah, I do know that the best streams that I've seen so far, uh, when it comes to Power World, and almost everything is like doing it with somebody else. I remember. <laughs> Uh, I forgot the names of these streamers, but they were like having this uh, massive fight about random shit and uh, on Power World, like, oh, I made the spear, oh, that wasn't your spear, kind of deal. It was funny. Uh, let's go for work speed. Actually, no, let's go for weights because I've been over encumbered a lot of times. And let's go ahead and build that. That's I think it's here. Yep, it's here. Yeah, I need nails, so let's go ahead and get some of those nails. But yeah, you guys are not actually my drinks. I you just um, some work to download my anger because lol the fighting over resources. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so that's why it's oh, more entertaining, obviously. But I mean, I don't have. Uh, I don't have any friends that have either the friends I have either don't have power world or don't uh, Or don't like being recorded or just are not really Available at the times that I stream so you know, that's something <sighs> Hell divers them I am planning on probably getting that I should probably get it before the hype for it goes down. I just am broke motherfucker right now. And you cannot really afford it. But it looks really fun. The game actually looks fun. And it does have like that scratch that crushes that itch that I usually have about uh, about the Xenos. Oh hey Silent One. Uh sure. I'm not sure if, uh, hold up, can I actually make one of these games into, like, um, uh, multiplayer? Uh, blah, 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 blah. the, I have this as a single player, but I'm not sure if I can make it multiplayer. Eh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually look that up real quick. But yeah, if you're willing to join in, uh, Silent One, I'm not gonna stop you. And I forgot that I already made a pelt armor, so I'll have one for you immediately. <laughs> You should be able to from the menu. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Uh, let me go ahead and exit to return title screen. And the reason for that is that I'm gonna switch the screens over. So, uh, I don't want the code going out to the public, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let me go ahead and go to the chatting screen so you guys can still see me. <laughs> Uh, but in the meantime, let me go ahead and see, uh, start... Uh, control settings... Multiplayer on, there it goes! Performance may drop with guest joins, plays with their contracts. Oh shit, also, uh, not sure if... I am using more Vortex and I'm using mods right now, Silent One. I'm not sure if that if that affects it in any way, shape, or form. Just make, just trying to make sure that. It... Okay, so I have that now, and I have no idea how to. I have multiplayer on. I just don't know how to. Uh, where's the code? 
Can you tell that I'm not a professional? <laughs> From the home screen, then select what you would like to invite friends to with options uh, Okay, so I have to actually be in the game. Silent one, uh, if you can still see or, uh, hear me, can you go ahead and tell me? Do you have uh, my brain is not good. Uh, do you have Discord so we can go ahead and talk in uh, voice or no? Oh, what? I do remember getting people's Discords before uh, and you know talking to uh, them. So if you do have it, just go ahead and uh, message me there so I can send you the code. What? I know, I will... <laughs> uh, there you go, I sent you the code. But yeah, it was just me being stupid. Sorry about that, dude. <laughs> uh, it also said, it also showed that you weren't on, so I was what? like, hold up, is this the same person? Um, I have that tendency to overdoubt myself and overdoubt shit. One second, one three merchant, put them here. What? Okay, so I actually have a crossbow now. And let me go ahead and put the rocks in this box over here. And I'm hungry. I have like 135 pals here, by the way, so that's not gonna be an issue. Uh, let's see. No, not here. Maybe the box over here? Ah, here it is. I mean, it's also not too far to find my base, it's literally just down the mountain. I was going to go for the Jet Forest bit, but I got a little bit tired of it. I'll bring it back later. I mean, I can still go ahead and do the Jet Forest kind of deal, you know? Got me some here, a new last farm, I go ahead and need a couple more of these and I'll get myself a plantation. Kind of deal, but eh. I'd like to chill more. I've just been running in circles. <laughs> uh, I ate... I'm trying to think about what I ate today. And yes, I ate the ramen and I also ate some of that... I ate some of that... Um, you are not... Ah, uh, hey, I just realized I'm not on my game screen. Thank you, by the way, Silent One. <laughs> uh, so you can tell I'm not the smartest person in the 
uh, ever. I switched it over so I, we, uh, I wouldn't accidentally broadcast the code. Uh, that was stupid. What? So yeah, I've just been running around my base right now because... Actually, hold up. I'm feeling confident. Shit. <laughs> that would be a good clip. I'm trying to actually go ahead. Oh shit, I forgot about that. You're good. <laughs> Just that fucking ray of <laughs> No. The fuck? I mean, I got some meat out of that, so that's good. What? Mm. I also can hear I can hear my brother from the other room, and I also like how every single time I hear him talking to with his friends, uh, his friends always sound like they just learned to speak English the two days ago, but not learning any other language other than English the entire life. Uh, 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 maybe it's just the headphones, but I just find that funny. Ooh, something. Something bit me in. God damn it. I do have an end problem, I have no idea. It's not even... Uh, it would be easier to if it was just like the um, the tracks. Because I'll be able to see where they're coming from and how to get rid of them. But it's the flying ones that are just going everywhere and I'm not sure where they are coming from, where they go, or any fucking Cotton Eye Joe shit. Hold up. That was a loud noise. Hopefully that isn't anything that breaks my game. Or anything that breaks anything else. Come on, that thing. Uh, not sure what happened there. I just got a pop up from uh, Windows saying that it blocked Power World. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sally One, tell me that was you, please. Ah, uh, you're creating a character now. Okay, cool. Okay, so that was you. Okay, just making sure I wasn't getting uh, anything bad happening to me. I should also get a VPN. I think I, I do have a VPN, but just for whenever I look stuff up. I need one for when I'm streaming and shit. Because people can get really annoying, especially when they... Ah, that's why it started lagging a little bit. Okay, the cool. I got a notification. Nothing important. It's as close as I'm gonna get to a gun for now. Okay, let's go ahead and sort this out.
See, uh, it's the same as the other one. Oh, go fuck yourself. I thought you were gonna be one of the oh. with the bullets. I do have to repair my uh, pickaxe though. Now oh, here it is. I had a manage plan to repair that shit. Okay. Did you get hit by anything? Jesus. <gasps> what was I here for? Berries. Okay, silent one. When you actually get it down here, just go ahead and uh, tell me. I think I'm at. Yeah, I am at a base right now. I was gonna say I think I am. thing is hungry. Oh, God. hold up one sec. Uh, something's in my eye. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Yeah, I don't like that shit because... Uh, it's way too hot. Way too early to be this hot here. Oh shit! Oh, Silent One, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, you can go inside and get some of the supplies, okay? Hey! How do you do that? Uh, there you go, by the way. Alright, Silent One, you're in the guild. Just go ahead and hop inside and you'll be able to get something. Uh, when it comes to food. Ooh, what the fuck's going on down there? Oh, shit, you teleported. I believe there's, a uh, clothes in this chest over here. Like, some, yeah, there's, a uh, pelt armor. This one over here. That one over there has a pelt armor. That 
that it's an empty room. The chest over there, yeah, that one over there has a pale armor. <laughs> Go ahead and put that in on. There you go. Uh, you're also free to grab any weapons over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, seven one. Would you uh do? Would you wanna give me one second? Actually, let me just go ahead and do it here. Ooh, a little bit laggy. Let's go. What's up, seven one? Is my mic working? Yeah. There you go. How are you? Yeah, I had to bust the old headset. Hadn't used it in a while. I mean, understandable. Uh, by the way, I have some uh, roasts. Whatever the dealer is called, I put it in this just over here. Cut them at the ants. <laughs> I don't know where they're coming from. I already sprayed my room um, uh, all over the place with poison like a German. I don't know. I have no idea where it's come. The uh, the uh, these ants keep coming from. So yeah, how do you like the house so far? Good, looks like it's got people. Uh, you kind of cut out there, what? I said it looks good, it looks like it's coming along good. Yep. Right now, I'm just trying to get myself prepared to fight the uh, first boss. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I've been able to clear that. I mean, I cleared it with other playthroughs, but uh, not with Jet Forest so just yet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, leveling up <laughs> before I help you all with that. That's uh, fine. I have enough things to. I mean, you can just cook berries and level up that way. The quickest way to level up is to capture pals. So, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I do know that leveling up with capturing pals is easier. It's just the fact that I like um, waiting until like I'm level 25 or something like that. To do it because everything else doesn't give me the same amount of uh, progress with leveling up, and if I capture like weak pals at that level, it's, it still gives me the same amount of gains. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, that's why it's been a slow burn. But I mean, I'm like level 13 right now by just not capturing anything else at the moment. I have a crossbow. Uh, let me go ahead and get you a crossbow. Or do you have anything right now? Uh, I've got the three-shot bow that you uh, had in the chest there. Sure thing. Okay, so... By the way, I also have one mod in Maple that... I'm not sure if you need to download the same mods or not, but especially since I'm hosting the server. But one of the mods that I have is that you can capture the leader, so the... Uh, in the towers. Uh, I shouldn't need that. <laughs> but, uh, what is it? I said I should not need that, but uh, it'd be alright. <laughs> just making sure. The reason why is just the fact that I capture uh, another one that I was playing. I didn't stream it, but I captured the first tower boss. And damn, out outside of the tower, they're just fucking insane when it comes to how strong they are. Especially when yeah, you level them up a little bit. Yeah, that's a reason why they 
didn't want him to be uh, capturable, I guess. <laughs> well, too bad. I got around. <laughs> We also got a merchant here. I he kind of blue balled me because I thought he was gonna sell bullets, but whatever. He still sells some useful stuff. <sighs> Water. So yeah, how was work today, by the way? It was long, but not too bad. Uh, it was very hot. Did a lot of construction work today. Ooh. Construction? Yeah. Yeah. I used to... I didn't do construction, I did landscaping, but ever since I got... Uh, I became allergic to something, I don't know what it is yet, so... I cannot do anything when it comes to landscaping anymore. What? Yeah, we were just uh, building on some chicken houses, that's all. Building chicken houses? Ah, building. Okay, I thought you were talking about right now. I was like, how do you? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Earlier <laughs> today for my work. <laughs> no, that's fine. I like chickens. I mean, I like them instead of uh, as I like them fried more than I like them alive. But you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I don't care for them too much when they're alive, actually. Like that's the end of break for next. I know that my uh, family, my aunts and my mom, like specifically, did um, when they were living in uh, Mexico, they actually had this thing where they would like raise the chickens from like as a chicks, and then eat them after they got a little bit bigger. Um, but I remember they were like, uh, I remember they when they they the first time they had to do that, and my grandma killed the chicken, and they you know they she made like a. Um, Caldo or stew, I guess, with the, with the chicken. Uh, none of them really wanted to eat it because they were like uh, kind of not horrified, but just sad about it. Except for one of them who just like, oh, I'll eat it, and just ate like three bowls. But yeah, some of the stories like it's insane how many children somebody um, somebody can have. Like, what is it? I have. Let's see. Da, da. I have like four uncles, and I have like six aunts. Nice. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. Yep. Nowadays, you I don't even think living without and living without any kids can even give you enough money to survive. I'm uh, not. Too much taxes each up. I always find it funny that the U.S. went uh, went to war for a three percent tax, and now they're at thirty percent. I also remember, um, I was watching this comedian, I forgot his name, but, um, he was basically, you know how he, yeah, sometimes when there's, like, hecklers or, like, uh, they, they just talk to the crowd to get some more material? Huh? So, yeah, he talked to this one guy, and he was like, what do you do? And he was like, oh, I work with the IRS, I work for the IRS, and everybody in the crowd was just immediately just booed or just groaned. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I and do that. There was this, yeah, but there was this just one guy at the back of the crowd. He was like, "Look at this motherfucker!" Every ever since you said you work with the IRS, he covered his face and he was like covering. They zoomed in on him and he was covering his face and he was like, "This motherfucker doesn't pay his taxes." <laughs> Shit! I got hit by a boar. And I killed the boar. I know they're not called that, but I'm still gonna call them that. Oh shit, I'm lagging. <laughs> so yeah, how you been enjoying the stream so far? I like it. 
I like it. It's good. I've been lurking a lot in your channel, you know. <laughs> I've seen that. I think yesterday's uh, Crusader Kings one, like I ended a war and then immediately... No, I didn't end the war. The war ended and then immediately another one started, but... Hey, <laughs> Uh, but the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and make one of the other saddles for docks so you can actually ride a dock as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, immediately after ending, uh, the war ended, like, another one started. <laughs> and then, we actually did good on that one, taking back territory that we lost and just uh, adding up, adding more to it. Um, the war's still not over, but the country that we're fighting, the north are mostly... Our kind of horror. I am waiting for because I am waiting for something because the I fucking hate whenever I have a, I have a mod collection and then the game updates and I have to look to see what mods are breaking the game and see what the fuck happened. You know? Oh yeah, I definitely know what you mean by there. Uh, let's say last game I played that mods broke was Valheim. Because uh, they were taking forever to update the game, and I was uh, hooked on the game. I was uh, streaming it, you know, at that time when I was streaming. And, uh, yeah, they did a update, and it broke, like, all kinds of mods. <laughs> and I was like, oh, crap. And I had, like, over 150 mods, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. You want to know what the worst... Uh, well, actually, the worst one that happened to me actually happened recently, because I had, like, this problem where... I was, I had like 18 gigabytes left in space in one game uh, for some reason, not in not in one game. I had 18 gigabytes in my storage uh, for C, the primary one my computer uses, and I guess documents decided to screw up because it went from 18 to three percent uh, to three gigabytes left, or actually two uh, two point seven, and I was just like, what the fuck happened? Uh, and it was documents for some reason. It was doing something. Uh, it was taking too much spot because. Even though I have all my games allocated to, like, um, e-folder, that's like 2 terabytes or something of a space, um, it still went to my other folder, e uh, C folder, when it comes to mods, that was like um, 100 gigabytes of space. So I was like, I have to move this, otherwise it's not gonna, you know, do it. And I spent for about 5 hours or something like that copying the things into a USB drive, then it, uh, like, after or not waiting an hour for it to copy, oh shit. After waiting an hour for it to copy, uh, it sent, eventually it was like, uh, yeah, I couldn't copy correctly because of the fact that, um, what was it? Uh, it's too big for the thing even though it's, uh, it has enough space, and then I had to copy it to two USB drives, it still didn't work. And what ended up happening afterwards was me just kind of uh, giving up and uh, moving them without even making a backup of most of the stuff. And it worked out. Thankfully, I'm still with Jet Forest and my other mods are still safe. But the thing is that when it comes to Paradox games, uh, it has a very specific kind of um, path that I need to follow. So now I have to go ahead and re-download all the mods that I downloaded uh, previously in order to use them again. So guess how many mods... Uh, well, Crusader Kings was fine, but guess how, uh, Stellaris. Guess how many mods I have in Stellaris that I have to re-download manually. I have no idea. <laughs> 325. It's a good chunk. Good chunk. It's the worst one that I had to do, but uh, I like I like downloading mods, but and you know playing with mods, but usually uh, after a couple of ones, I like oh, I think that's enough, or it's not too bad, but it's just that. It's just Stellaris. I had I don't have playsets. They have some playsets like the mods don't update in years, and immediately I just give up and I uninstall them. Right, right. <laughs> or like the mods don't work with the game anymore, so I have to you know I just go ahead and uh, give up and not do anything about it. But no, apparently when it comes to Stellaris, even a mod that was like what was it? Uh, it came Stellaris came out like 2016. And some of the mods that came up like 2018 and 19 or like and even 17 are still working. Yeah, well, that's kind of like the way uh, Skyrim was. Like I had some a bunch of really old mods, but they still worked. You know. Uh, right? Didn't they update Skyrim to make it like horrible? 
Yeah, they, uh, it's all about that Creation Club content now. And, uh, I'm not all about that <laughs> at all. Yeah, fuck so. that. That That's why I went ahead and disabled uh, automatic updates for Skyrim. I'm happy to play the old Skyrim with my mods that still work. And can, by that time, can go fuck themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I have a special edition, but I will not upgrade to anniversary edition. No. Unfortunately for me, it's, I cannot play in it right now, because they tried doing this shit a, a while back as well, and it didn't work out, but they're still like, greedy little bastards. So, what ended up... Oh, hello. I went to get some more leather. Uh, so, what ended up happening is that they both times that they tried it, they ended up failing, so they're trying it again, because you know how companies are. Uh, so, essentially, now that I am just going to go ahead and wait to see until they fail... And that way, I, or if they fail, that way I can uh, update again without uh, worrying too much. Otherwise, I am trying to find a way to be download be uh, because for some reason it forced updated it, uh, and I don't know why. So I need to go ahead and find a way to either downgrade again, or wait for them to figure out that they are shitty people and re uh, and fix that issue. You know. Which I'm probably gonna have to do the latter before they even uh, consider giving up, you know? Also, Katibas keep spawning in the middle of the air and now falling from like the sky into the water. I don't know why. <laughs> That's odd. I saw this mod that would like allow me to buy spheres from the merchant, like all, any kind of sphere, and I didn't have to do that. But I don't think it's working, so unfortunately, I'm. Why did I sound so valley girl right there? So I don't think it's working. So I'm. <laughs> I have no idea why I sounded valley girl for a second there. Well, at least I'm not doing a hot tub stream. Well, I might actually have to get that one installed so you can use it, I guess. Uh, no, no, no. It's it did it be even before you uh before you joined in and it wasn't working. I that's why I was like I don't think it's gonna work, you know. Gotcha. Also realize something. Um, when it comes with your food, if you just put sword <laughs> on it. As you have it in your inventory, the expiration of it goes immediately all the way back to full. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a very useful tip. I wish that worked in real life. Just imagine if you, every time you clean your fridge, all the food became fresh again. <laughs> but I've been very useful a couple of times. But yeah, I've played this game without streaming before, and it runs really smooth like butter, but as soon as I started streaming, it just immediately starts going, hey, like, stuttering. Even though I already upgraded my CPU, um, I might need to upgrade it again, but not too soon. I still paid, like, a good few... Uh, I paid a, a bit of money to upgrade it as, I, as it is right now. At least it's playable. You know my old TPU couldn't even uh, start streaming. It was just immediately as I opened up Streamlabs, it just started lagging. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm still using my old graphics card from 2019, but what? it's still good. I actually looked it up online. Uh, the graphics card I'm using right now, it when I bought it, was around like... 250 bucks. Do you want to know how much it goes for, uh, for right now? How much? Uh, 2,200. Dang. I have not been keeping up with that stuff. <laughs> the only reason I did it is because a, a, one of my friends does, and the guy who built my computer. Uh, so that's why I, I can't. I don't even keep up with it. He keeps up with it, and then he tells me, you know. I mean, 
uh, he came to build a computer. I mean, I bought all my parts. He just went ahead and helped me. And uh, I remember I paid for his gas, obviously, because we went to Micro Sensor. And then afterwards, I also like invited him to. Uh, you know, I made some. Uh, I got him some food outside, some chicken. Uh, and then when he got when we. We got home, we were, uh, he was doing the computer setup. Oh, hey, look, there's a bunch of, um, what is this guy? Perk Max? Oh, there's mercenaries. Oh, yeah, they're guarding the, uh, merchant there. Well, not very good, they're just standing around us, though, as one of the syndicate guys keeps shooting them. I think they might be bugged out. Could be. But why don't you try and shoot them and find out? <laughs> I'm not going to. I mean, they're moving again. <laughs> I just found it funny. They were just staring at the distance as this guy was behind them with a revolver shooting them. And yeah, later on, I uh, tomorrow I have uh, well t today and tomorrow I'm gonna be doing some D and D stuff. That's cool. Yeah, uh, I've been for the longest time. I think for the last four or five years, I've been stuck as a forever DM. I did play one campaign uh, as I was a, as a player, but uh, then it went on hiatus, so I am st back to being DM. I mean, I don't mind it. I like being. I like the Emmy. The I've only seen, bad thing is, hmm? I, I said I've seen some people stream DMs. Uh, you know, uh, Dungeon and Dragons. You know. Uh, I should stream that, but, but one of the reasons I don't stream it is because um, my friend group is not exactly what I would call Twitch friendly. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> I, I mean, one of my friends' uh, names uh, on Discord is literally a uh, P H G G T. Don't say that out loud, by the way. Mm. But yeah, that's uh, that's how it is. So you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I, I completely understand. I got uh, friends like that too. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, his boyfriend told him to do, put that name in, so... <laughs> well... <laughs> it's not trying to... you know what I mean, right? <laughs> I guess if you are, you could make fun of it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the YouTube and Twitch meta, yeah. Yeah. Or life meta, you know? <laughs> uh, I guess. I don't know. I like making fun of anything because um if, if you don't if you don't laugh at every single joke, then you're hypocritical in my mind. Because it's like an all or nothing kind of deal. Because yeah, everything is funny until it hits your ballpark, you know? Like if you think of a um, funny joke, think of something that you've laughed at before, something that made you crack up. And I can guarantee you 100% guarantee that I can find a way or reason for that joke to be offensive by some, to somebody. Oh yeah. So that's why I was like, you know, if you don't laugh at something because you think it's going too far, or it's not something that you should laugh at, then that's your that's your ball game. That's what makes that's what affects you. Like, uh, you do know that you can use the items inside of this uh, house, right? I do, but I had it on my uh, mission thing to. Oh build right! This, I, and I just want to. I just want to clear that stuff off. <laughs> sure thing. I forgot that you had to do that kind of stuff. Sorry. <laughs> to the tutorial mission crap. <laughs> yeah. Also, my room, which is just a bed, which actually is not 
and the same as my own room because I'm the only guy that I know that actually decorates my room. But it's fucking weird the decoration style in my actual room. There is so here's how it is. I have my computer desk, right? And to yep. my right there is a Ruby poster from when it was actually good. By the way, Rooster Teeth, uh, they the company sucked, but I hope that Ruby goes to somebody good. Um, there's a One Punch Man poster, so like there's two anime posters, right? And there's a third uh -huh. thing in my room hanging in the wall. Can you guess what it is? Mm. Something to do with anime. <laughs> uh, nope. I don't, no? <laughs> okay. It's an ancient Egyptian picture painting. Oh, okay. Nice. And there's like ancient Egyptian shit all over my room as well. And I'm like, okay, so what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Also, for some reason, I can name a couple of the Egy ancient Egyptian gods. Yeah, like Ra, <gasps> Anubis. <laughs> but uh, uh, Ra, Nuke, Katu, Mekvit, Heket, Solket, uh, Mekvik, Treshpu, Haket, Anubis, Anukis, Treshpu, Seket. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I hear shiny. Found a shiny. Oh shit. Uh, you might want to come to me real quick. Uh, oh, where are you? Okay. Uh, going towards the main uh the boss fight. Uh, you'll see what I mean whenever I say that you want to come to me right now. Oh, I see you on your stream. It's a Nightwing. <laughs> yep. It's a big bird. Shit, that might actually be the name of it. It's level 15. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think we can you think we can take it or no? We can try. What what is your level? I am level 13. Yeah, you should be able to take it. Let me get the fox thing out real quick. Yeah. Shit. Oh, I can shoot electricity. Did not work. Shit! Oh shit. Uh, I'm down. Where are you? <laughs> I'm gonna have to use my good spears. Where is it? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> How do you revive me? Behind you. Yeah, you. I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Oh, Shit. oh, oh. Please, Fox thing, entertain him enough. Oh, the Fox is gone. Ooh. And the other Fox is helping us. Are you down? Nope. I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay, nice. aim at Aim. Yeah. Reload. Aim, just in case it comes on. Yes! Nice. <laughs> it's a coward, apparently, but it's also very lucky. Mm. 
Let's get back to base and put my fox thing in the healing chamber. Yeah, mine died too. <laughs> so I knew it would, it was only a level 4. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> but hey, we got it. We got Big Bird. That's gonna be its name, right? Big Bird? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Hands. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, I so I did this thing where I was gonna name uh, the pals after people that are on the stream. Uh, only man went after you, but yeah, I remember there was uh, I remember Mrs. Hands. I remember that, and the other guy who was here whenever I started streaming first. I don't think he's here anymore. Isher maybe. Other than that, that's about the only two that I've named. Um, so yeah, Big Bird, let me go ahead and name that one real quick. It's a boy too, that's good. I can name him now. Uh, edit. Big Bird. <laughs> as soon as I saw him flying in the distance, I was like, okay, this thing is, I need this thing. It has Spark, uh, spark Blast, Tornado Attack, and Air Cannon. But yeah, you saw the fox thing, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Hands. You saw how uh, that that dragon blast thing was doing work. Oh. Hold Look on, at they this. booted me out of the game. Hold on, <laughs> I gotta oh, get back shit. in. You game good? crashed. Huh? Okay, the game crashed. Dude, look at how big this fucking thing is. Yeah, it's ginormous. I also have a mod that lets the humans not only just work on things uh, when it comes to like crafting, but it also lets them water the plants, plant the plants, and since they accidentally they can water the plants, that also means they can use that giant like uh, thread mill, but they have like four efficiency, so they're really fast at it. So it's actually worthwhile capturing humans in this one. Nice. Let's actually see. I'm gonna go to my technology and see how much further it is until I can actually ride the bird. Uh, it's like level 15, I'm level 13, so yeah, it's a little bit far away. I also need more leather and cloth for that. I just realized how I might actually like a lot of Agent Edition more than I thought because I remembered something. Um, I remember whenever I started, I actually had the same thing that you had. Um, I started streaming a little bit and then like I kind of gave up back in like 2020. I still have some videos from that, but they're all private. But one of the things that I remember doing is that I took over the Sand Temple in Minecraft and I just kept building on it. Yeah, I like, I like pyramids, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that bird gave four ancient parts. Nice. I'm gonna put that in the storage. Whoosh. Ah, uh, by the way, do you need any pal spheres? Uh, I think I made a few. 
I have like 150, that's what I'm asking. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably take a few off of you when I get back here. I'll put, yeah, I'll put 37 in the chest upstairs. Okay, cool. But yeah, I think with uh, with these like with the two shinies that I have, um, his hands and Big Bird, we should be able to. I just need to, we just need to level you up a little bit more, and then we should be able to attack the the first boss. Oh yeah, yeah. Attacking me. Ah, uh, the pretzels are attacking me. The what now? The pretzels. Oh, the pretzels. <laughs> I'm gonna make them work in the sweat shops. Mm. I one shot in one of them. <laughs> I think I actually might be coming down with a cold. That's not good. <coughs> uh, I should be fine. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Get activated. Look the fire. I remember uh, there was a discussion I uh, bored that I saw once. It was like, uh, oh, hey. So. If, you know, if there was any race, uh, any, like, species, like, let's say, like, the Albers or some shit like that from D&D &D that was, uh, here in the real world, what do you think they would, you know, how would they interact with the real world and shit like that? And I was like, oh, there's a species in D&D &D that's a giant crab, and if they were in the real world, I think they would be endangered. Do you agree with me or not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe they would be. <laughs> For sure. I mean, between the Americans and the Chinese, I think that thing would have gone extinct. <laughs> I have. All right, I have some plants. I don't like using cooler boxes because I know that they usually don't work. Well, I have to uh, manually assign a PAL to it because they usually want to do something else. Uh, unless you have a PAL that just has cooling as an option. I hope that I can find one like that because I tried assigning them to like, uh, they cooler box out a lot of times, but they don't do shit. And also, after every time you restart your game, uh, you have to reassign them because they'll automatically ah, come off sucks. of it. That kind of sucks.
I also like how I just look out into the ocean and see one of the fox guys just wandering into the water, even though their uh, tails are on fire. Yeah, you'd think I would, uh, go, what the hell is up? Pal crash report. Did it crash again? Yeah. Did you, like, manage to boot up the game and then it crashed immediately, or what happened? Uh, it just crashed as soon as I tried to re rejoin your world. Uh, that's weird. What did it say? Hold up, maybe. You know what? There's nothing on my side. That's weird. Oh, it might crash for me too now because it actually went in really laggy for a second there. Right, now I remember what I was running around for. I need to make some arrows. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Do you have any ideas on what do you think the issue might be? Uh, I'm gonna try it again. I uh, I reclosed and reopened my Steam. Sometimes I have to do that. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> oh, cool. Weird. I remember seeing one, the clip once of some guy sitting outside of our prison just yelling at the, uh, at the inmates inside. And then, like, they were like, when's the last time you had a McChicken? Uh, do you? I don't think you uh, keep up with anything when it comes. Oh, well, not keep up with anything. I don't think you keep up with this specific news. Uh, did you hear about that one um, kid that was like had like uh, his face painted red and black because of the Chiefs, and then like, uh, like what is it? Dead spin. Uh, it was like, oh, look at this kid doing blackface, and just showed one side of his face. No, I did not see that, but that does not surprise me though. Yeah, guess what happened. Wanted. The kids sue. The kids' family sued the company for um, for uh, slander. Liable, I guess the slander. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And then Deadspin just decided to get uh, decided to let some other company buy them, and all everybody that was in their department got fired with a thirty-minute notice. Serves them right. It, they do. I mean, it does. I also have a glider, but it's kind of shitty. Ooh, I got some arrows that were just in the ground. Nice. Oh, look, I see a bunch of um, those tugs over here. Christ, these the fucker. There you go.
Like, don't doesn't each of the one of the tower bosses represent a, like a like a boss from uh, from like the um, shit? What are they called? The you know like the thugs? I don't uh, the thugs and stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah, like, uh, each tower boss has like their own little group that they lead. Like uh, the syndicates were led by uh, the first one. I'll forget her name. <laughs> the the Free Pal Alliance was led by Lily, which is the second one. I know her. Oh my God, that name of the Free Pal Alliance, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of contradicting themselves. <laughs> Oh no no yeah the contradiction of the cells yeah but also horrible timing with real world events. <laughs> true that true that. <laughs> because I remember I think it was Banos or somebody who was like a uh, hashtag free pal alliance. <laughs> you can get the joke at that one right? Oh I'm the Sadika Tower I forgot I was near here. Oh, there's spores here. Well, I can one-shot a boar now. That's good. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so, you know how I killed a boar, right? Yeah. Yeah, the other two boars just started eating it. Oh gosh, cannibals. Of course, uh, real boars in the wild, they uh, eat anything. Oh, I've seen, uh, yeah, I've seen pigs eat some of the fucking weirdest shit. But I do like this game, I'll be honest. I kind of got a little bit of burned out when it comes to it, uh, just because of... Yeah, I kind of, uh... Been Especially giving it a break, get, like, I've been... Level... Yeah, when you get to, like, level 50. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've pretty much completed the game. I've, uh, captured every pal, beat all the bosses. So, done all I want to do. <laughs> Uh, I've been hooked on and shrouded, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> shrouded? I will go Yeah. Ahead. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the deers is on fire in our base. Oh really? <laughs> it just, I accidentally pushed him into the fire, into the fire pit. <laughs> wow. I think we can actually beat the uh, mammoth. The, the mammoth guy with doing that with doing using just fire. Mm -hmm. Be a little difficult, but I mean, it stays in the same area. You just have to uh, build like a, a bunch of fires, <laughs> a bunch of fires around it, yeah. 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 And wait until like it's like a couple HP, and then just immediately attack it and pray to God that he don't die. <laughs> Ah, oh, there you are. Yep, I was out capturing a few pals. Cool. i just been getting some food. Which reminds me, I need to go ahead and cook it. Let me actually see technology, because I don't want to cook it until I get the um, pot. Where is it? Oh, Jesus, that's level 17. Never mind, let me go ahead and just cook them right now. You need some food? I've got some berries. Or 
roast well, berries. I got, some, I got some grilled <laughs> chicken right here if you need it, as well as roast. Uh, I have like 15 rush uh, rush horse. I've been farming them for a little bit. I also have this um, toy plane. I think it's uh, NR2100. Hold up, actually. Let me see if I can see uh, a little bit for you. Uh, a Gibi uh, Spoker R1. Uh, obviously, that probably doesn't mean anything to you. <laughs> it's basically just a model of the plane that it's based off. Uh, but I re the wings are just a perfect... Um, amount of thickness so that it can fit between the keys and like the rest of the body is made out of plastic and metal so I put the uh, plastic wing in between the F and R key and let it lean towards me and that just holds the F key for it by itself. Well you know they fixed that right where you can just press the F key and you know, it'll uh, cook itself. You don't have to hold it anymore. It's in the options. Ah that's why um let me go ahead to go to options because I I tried doing it right there and it and it didn't let me. Uh, what is it? controls or settings? Uh, settings I believe. Let's see. Keyboard aim sensitivity toggle sprint mouse sensitivity. Blah, 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 high it's check, it's the one, two, three, three. it's the whole toggle interaction that needs to be on. Yep. Let me go ahead and put that on. Ah, uh, thank god. Okay. Unfortunately, my plane, you can't be retired now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it, like, up here. Uh, I have, like, uh, I have, like, two shells on top of my thing. I'll put it up there. It looks nice up there. So I have a lot of random shit in my desk now that I see it. I have my old phone, but it's locked into my bank it's setting, it's my bank, my bank stuff. So that's why I keep it. And also, I forgot the password, and I use biometrics to open it. So that's another thing. Yeah. I have a pack of batteries, some USBs. Uh, I have a box. Uh, I have three. Hold up, one, two, three boxes of, of colors. Uh, one of them just being pens. I have uh, bottled ink. And I also have, I had the 3D printer, I have a cup full of pens, again, I I barely even draw, I don't know why I have so many pens. I used to draw a lot back when, back in high school, but not quite too much anymore. Drawing is an awesome talent I wish I had. I do not have that talent. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, you want to know the funniest shit that happened in high school? Well, when it comes to drawing? What's that? So they were like, uh, oh, you're supposed to... Uh, you're supposed to go ahead and draw, like, uh, like a rant. It was like the that lesson that was just like, hey, you're supposed to draw something that looks realistic kind of deal. So like, draw uh, somebody's face. Like, you can be a classmate, it can be somebody else, and like, you can just look up uh, online or something, right? Yeah. And so I just went ahead and pressed um, Guy uh, online, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, guy, and I was just looking through pictures, and then I saw one was like, oh, this looks like a suburban uh, like a suburban guy. Like a young suburban guy, and I was like, I'll just draw this guy. And then I started drawing. <laughs> and I'm like one-fourth of the, like, the after the school day, like, ended, like, I got my base and like uh, after I was like one fourth of it done uh, somebody saw it and was like oh that's an interesting cause topic and I was like why and then he showed me the things guess who I accidentally started drawing who's that Ted Bundy oh god <laughs> so without the context that I got it randomly it looks like I was just drawing a serial killer in her class I still finished though. The reason That's for hilarious. it is that the yeah the reason for it is that the teacher was really annoying at times. Uh, Miss Pogda, like she was fun, but she was also very um very outspoken. Like let me go ahead and put it this way: there was this one guy in our class, Joe Smart, who acted who not actively, but he did like admit to like um 
you know, supporting uh, Trump and stuff like that back in 2016. And every single, like, it, it, I, I don't care about that shit, but every single time Miss Pacta saw him in the hallway, she would stop him and talk to him trying to convince him why that is not a good idea. Oh, trying to force her views on others, eh? <laughs> yes. That's why she was annoying. Uh, I yeah. think... Yeah, that's... <laughs> I was the one that did some shit in her class that... I Because I I was um, chaotic silent, if I if that makes sense. Like, I like to cause um, chaos, but I didn't like taking the responsibility of causing chaos, you know? Right. So what I did uh, is that she had this re weird thing, uh, not a weird thing, she just really hated whenever people did like uh, certain types of jokes. I think the top five that she did not like uh, was war jokes, um, the, you know, the German jokes, if you uh, 1943 German jokes, if you know what I mean. Uh, suicide jokes, I'm not even sure I can say that on Twitch. Ah, fuck it, I already said it, but I'll just go ahead and refer to it as uh, self-turning off jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I believe the other two were just, like, you know, the political stuff. Um, what jokes like, uh, jokes towards women and jokes, like, um, and right-wing jokes were, like, something that she didn't like a lot. So, every single time when I was in her class, uh, the because I had her at the very end, um... And when the very end of the classes, even the teachers, like, you know, they either go to the restroom or just leave the class immediately and stuff like that. Uh, her, she was like, she had like our club immediately afterwards, so a lot of other students just stick her, sticked around or like left for a little bit. So what I would do is whenever people were, were noticing, she had like these models, uh, you know those like little art models that you have, like they, they have the shape of a uh, fun person that you can just reference to draw? Yeah. Uh, she used to have like about five of them around the classroom, and every single time she left, I would put them in the in the hailing position. Uh. And she would get pissed. Like she would, like she even like sent out like this paper, like hey, uh, if I catch you, you'll be in trouble. Blah 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 blah. Please don't do this. And blah 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 blah. Kind of thing, kind of deal. But it just made it funnier. <laughs> if she had not just done said anything, it just kind of ignored it. I would, I would have stopped. Like I would have been like, ah, it's not worth it, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she overreacted to it. And she had like this weird thing, um, because I remember I had my mentality with modern art is that it's kind of bullshit. Like, you know, sometimes you make a piece, you take time of it, and it actually, you know, it might not be the same art style as, you know, realistics or stuff like that, but it looks good, right? Right, right. And then there's people that just throw shit at a random campus and say that it's worth $10,000, you know? Oh yeah, it's all objective anyway. Yeah, so basically uh, what ended up happening is that there was this one um, this one article of this one guy who went up to like this art gallery and took off his glasses and put them in the in an empty corner of the room and there was people actually standing around his fucking glasses taking pictures and trying to depict what the artist meant by that art piece, which was just him putting his fucking glasses in the corner, right? Yeah. What? So, I went ahead and showed that to her and said, like, you see how stupid, like, modern art is kind of deal, and how, and then she went ahead in a tirade saying, like, well, technically, that is his art piece by protesting the uh, modern art, like, interpretation of shit, then she, like, said a lot of words that basically wind up to, like, well, that, uh, him say, complaining about that art is his art. There's a Relaxosaurus yeah. over here. Ooh, it's like level 28, right? 20, exactly. 20, yeah. I'm not finding it, but I'm surprised that it's over here. i never seen him around here. Yeah, they sometimes spawn there. So, uh, fair. Oh, somebody's attacking me. Oh, they're like, somebody's attacking me! I need to run! <laughs> I was like, oh, somebody's attacking me because I heard the battle music. And then I turned around and saw the thing coming. Uh, the little red icon that it says Relaxosaurus at the bottom. And I, and I just ran. 
Um, so yeah, essentially that's what she was like. Oh well, that was his art that was doing that, and I was like, oh my fucking god, can you just not admit that some art, some uh, some guys are just grifters and like you know, uh, some art is just bullshit, can of you? So then I decided to go ahead and challenge her, uh, because there was a. You know how high schools are, they basically like putting every single assignment at the very same time and, does, and don't care if you have other, uh, what you have to do with other classes, right? Right, right. So what ended up happening is that I was behind on her assignments because, I mean, it's art. I, yeah, Spen, she was very uh, loose when it comes to her policy, so basically I knew that if in, uh, out of every single class, her class was probably going to be the easiest to either get away with or, like, you know, turn in anything, right? Right. Uh, so what ended up happening is that she went ahead and... Uh, remember that conversation about her saying anything is hard, especially if there's a meaning behind it, blah, 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 blah. And then I remember looking to uh looking for inspiration i was trying to see like okay what can i do real quick uh so that i can finish this assignment and like turn it in and don't have to worry about it um uh, just anything and i started drawing uh some stuff and then like i remember like the light bulb in my room went out and then i was like ah oh, shit i cannot really keep drawing because the light bulb that was that went out was uh conveniently the one that was like right on me when i was drawing so I went ahead and changed the light bulb, and when I took out the old light bulb, it didn't just like, you know, how whenever it goes out, like, it's like, you know, just, it's either like one of the filaments, like, got loose or broke, or like, it just burnt and like, the, it's like burnt a little bit at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it burnt all the way from the bottom, and it had like these like white patterns that went all, to the, all the way to the tip. <laughs> and I turned that in as my project. <laughs> Interesting. And she, yeah, and when she tried challenging me with uh, on why, like, uh, you know, why is that burnt out light bulb part of a project? And it was like, well, this my I did some bullshit excuse of like, oh, it's representation of burnout in society, blah 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 blah. And like uh, here, I also went ahead and overwrite it. I mean, you can also just say that it's not art and then admit that I was correct. And she preferred giving me a hundred that admit that her view on art was bullshit. Sounds that right. Uh, hold up. My little brother decided to just randomly walk in my room and lay on the floor. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard that silent one, but essentially I told I told my brother brother to remind me um, to that at 3:30, uh, like at 3:30 was supposed to be the time that I just stopped everything until I had to stream again and just clean up some stuff. It is currently uh, 6:50, and he just came in to tell me that at 3:30 I was supposed to stop everything and clean before streaming. <laughs> A little late, right? <laughs> yeah, that was like, I already did that shit, Anthony. Uh, he can be funny sometimes. Like, what was it? Um, oh my god, I remember that shit. Um, so, he's been watching the boondocks. Oh boy. <laughs> what? And I, he made me crack up to hell and back whenever we were, um, there was this new place that opened up right next to our home called, um, Something's Chicken. Um, I used like maybe J's or like a race or something like that kind of deal. It's, it ends with a, a Y-S. I remember that. But I remember that it, they opened up right next to our house. And... 
And I remember it was they opened like at eleven, and so we were go. He was went to a, like a doctor's appointment, and I was going with them because um, my mom can't translate. Uh, I remember, right? I'm not sure if I told you, but I still live with her because I was planning on moving out when I finished high school, and then the pandemic oh. hit, and I just had to stay here because I mean she would have to take care of him, go to work, as well as uh, you know she is diabetic, and he is very. Well, I think you can tell where this is going. I had to stay, and I just continued to stay, kind of deal. I mean, we're also Mexican, so, you know. Right, right. We actually care about our own family, is what I mean. <laughs> so, um, we went to the doctor appointment. I go with them because she cannot speak English well, and I had to translate. And as we were leaving, um, I remember that we were like debating between taking him back to school or not. But then we also remember that he had to do, to do a test, so we had to take him back. So as we were going to school, he was not really happy about that. And I remember we passed by the chicken place, and there was like, there was like six or seven cars parked outside because it's not one of those dine in that you just you know park your car outside. Go up to the window, you know, do get make the order, and then they tell you when it's done, kind of deal. Yeah. And I remember there was like about twelve to fifteen people outside, and out of all those people, there was only two people that were not black. There. <laughs> and he looked out the window and he went like moths to the flame. Oh God. <laughs> My mom did not understand that joke at all, and she yeah. just said, I was like dying laughing in the car. <laughs> like, he can be funny sometimes, but the real issue that he has is that he has the um, uh, Spongebob rip pants uh, mentality, which uh, once he finds something that is funny, he fucking runs it dry and to hell and back until yeah. it's not funny, until it's not as funny or not funny at all anymore, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, he can be funny at times. I just when I, I, I mean, he's been better about that. I've been coaching him a bit, a little bit better about that. Like, hey, uh, you know, the joke is funny once, uh, you know, at certain times, but if you keep running it to uh, to the ground, it's you're not gonna keep getting the same fire from the same piece of timber, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah. Uh, there's another joke that I that, that he did once about uh, it was about Mr. Beast that just sent me to the moon, but I can't, I don't think I can go ahead and say it, uh, especially not here on Twitch. You know, I would like to hear your reaction to it, but I'm not I'm gonna type it to you because I'm not gonna risk myself getting um, on Twitch, okay? Okay. Yeah. Now you get what I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> he can be very funny, but a lot of his funny comes from either, uh, gets a, you know, he can be funny, but I don't think he'll be able to be funny too long in online, you know? Yeah, yeah he'd get a lot of hate as well <laughs> with things like that, for sure. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah. Like I said myself, though, I don't really care too much about that. If, if you cannot laugh at it, at it, if you think that a single joke is something that you cannot laugh at, then you should not laugh at any joke because anything is something that you cannot laugh at, at in certain ways. That is true. That is so true. So, yeah. There's not a fucking alpaca running through our <laughs> place. I need to build walls. I mean, yeah, it's, com it's rich coming from the guy named Jed Forrest that he wants to build walls around his base because... <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> That's not actually my name, by the way. It's just my character's name. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, my name is Jed Forrest. I'll be going ahead and talking with somewhere like this, you know? Possibly. <laughs> Anyways, what the fuck you're looking at? You're looking at the goddamn big thing over here? I was about to shoot it, goddamn. <laughs> well, I was looking for some, uh, fox sparks so I could harvest, or flame organ so I could get that, uh, harness. There was a couple of them in the water. <laughs> Give me one second, let me see if I can find any. Oh. I'm, I don't think you were I don't think you were here for whenever it happened, but uh, there was once where there was like this merchant that I tried to capturing. I I don't see any of them, and I accidentally ended up killing him. Uh, and I was like, okay, I have to go ahead and get rid of the body, and I just kept pushing it into the ocean, and it just kept bouncing up and down in the water. Yeah, I was in chat for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the stream watching. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Just like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> It reminds me of the, um... Uh, what is it? The fucking Russian Badger video where the guy who went, uh, glitched out and was just like a process guy. <gasps> I could never understand though, like, people defending multi-million companies being like, oh, uh, don't worry, Nintendo. I'll help you out. It's not like you try to screwing over 80 people throughout your entire existence. Right. Like they were originally a, uh, sort of a ring, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yep. For, for yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine... Uh, after you say ring, just imagine Epstein Silent has, like, sponsored by... And just Nintendo on the wall. As well as a bunch of other companies. I think one of my favorite stories was um, uh, Universal. Uh, there was like this, these daycares in Florida that had like uh, Nintendo characters like, uh, you know, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck and shit like that on their walls. And <laughs> I accidentally shot the burly mech. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting attacked by both sides now. Um, Wish me luck. That's okay, not the good. other two just decided to stay still for some reason. Okay, good. They they decided not to be aggro anymore. Okay, cool. So, it's, yeah. So the uh, so not Nintendo. Disney. There was this daycares that painted the Mickey Mouse and shit on their wall, and Disney went ahead and sent them a cease and desist, saying like, "Hey, uh, those are my our copyright. You have to uh, paint. You know, you have to take them down." Kind of deal. Mm -hmm. And so Universal saw that story and it was like, oh, you know what? We'll go ahead and send somebody to help you take it down and instead paint the uh, Universal characters there instead. And I remember somebody was <laughs> also did this joke. You know when India just recently got to the moon or some shit, right? Mm -hmm. And somebody made the joke, it's like, it, uh, they should have uh, gone, like, uh, while well, they were in the moon, take down the United States flag and just, like, throw it, on, uh, you know, just take it down. And it was like, what, it, what is the US gonna do? Spend millions and millions just to go ahead and go back to up into the moon to put the flag back up? And somebody was like, yes, they would absolutely do that. Yeah, they probably would. I 
I mean, I saw Oper Operation Ball Bunny, and I think they would. I mean, it does sound like something the government would do. I killed the cat. Killed the pink the booty cat. Yep, I forgot how strong the crossbow is. <laughs> oh, hey, I found two parts parts over here. Nice. Oh yeah, I found one. I uh, got it. So I made the harness. Okay, so what I'm hearing is you don't need me to kill these two. Right. Not unless you just want to harvest their flame organs and leather. Ah, uh, nah. I think I have a better idea for that. I just need to make sure that I find it over here. Let's see. I think it's you go up here and there should be a camp. By the way, there's a dungeon open here over here by the Syndicate Tower if you want to go in there. Alright, sure. Let me make some arrows real quick. Sure thing. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and storm the to get uh, base. Uh, it's like we have an ice cat over here, actually. Would you like an ice cat? Sure, yeah. Meowchrist. <gasps> ah, god damn it! I was about to capture. Yeah, uh, I was about to capture one of the syndicate guys, and he, like it ended up getting hit by one of the penguins. Oh, this one has automatic fire. There's one left. <laughs> I don't him. Okay, so yep, there is uh, I think a mucus. I don't know what this is. Actually, I, I mean I know what it is. I just don't know the name of it. Just wait over here. What it? Are you waiting on me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting. Just making arrows. <laughs> no, I was like, I'll wait over here for you. <laughs> just dead. Uh, you know what? I think I'll just release it and take it back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> God. Yeah, Malchrist. Or Meow Meowchrist, whatever. It's a sadist, apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I might have interrupted something. I think he might have been in that cage willingly. <laughs> uh, no, that, that, that'd be the masochist. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm back at base, by the way. I teleported. <laughs> uh, how do I drop the uh, pals? Uh, put him in your party, and then drop him from your party. Uh. Okay. Uh, get over here if you want a uh, cat crystal thing. Uh, give me a second. Drop pal. Are you sure? Yep. There you go. Yeah, meow, meow, meow. So what you gonna do now? <laughs> Uh, nothing, actually. <laughs> what? 
Well, actually, now that I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and rename the guild. Uh, what do you think a good name is? Mm, no idea. <laughs> I'm not good with coming up with names. Let's see, my name is Jet Forest, so... I know, I think I'm misspelling Carolina. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just gonna call it still Carolina. Jet Forest from South Carol Carolina Confederate. <laughs> Carolina. Yep, I misspelled it. <laughs> there you go. We're in South Carolina now. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, brother! Let's go ahead and get on them uh, fucking whatever the hell that call is called. I think it's a cave. And for good, buddy, on my way. Alrighty, let's go ahead and I'll race you back to the base. I'll, not the base. I'll race you to the hole then. Hey, no fair. I don't have a mount. <laughs> <laughs> Scale issue. Alright, look at that thing right there. That's a cat I killed. <laughs> it's still here. Look at its fucking face. Look at its face. <laughs> It's just uh, because whenever they kill, you kill one of the pals, like, you know, the swirling eye things? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and the eyes weren't swirling. It would just open eyes and it just looked like it was like, ah, but this is coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> I also have ammo. I think I, I got it from killing some, those syndicate guys. Okay, so we're here. You ready? Alright, I'm yep. faster than you, give me a sec. <laughs> uh, let's switch over to the fox, Mrs. Hands. Or Miss Hands. Uh, you can catch that uh, Jello if you want. I got him way down. I've got two of them already. How do you miss twice? <laughs> Bad aim. <laughs> yeah, let's get in here. It's like level 13. So just stay behind me then. I also like that um, there was this one uh, thing that I saw a long time ago of uh, a game called Dead House Sonata. That there was. Uh, group that was announcing the fact that they were working on that. Uh, well, one of them was supposed to be working with that, and they were like, oh, it should be coming soon. And I saw the stream, and it was like about two years ago or something like that, and I was like, oh, it should be out at this time, and I looked it up, and it was still not out. Wow. <laughs> Although there is, like, pictures and, like, images now, and, like, their actual website, it looks like they're actually doing work on it, it's just not out. Yeah. There's some regular meows over here. I mean, they can drop cold, I think, so go ahead and catch one if you can. thing is uh, for a, for a long time I thought that somebody was actually like you know Palpatine right mm -hmm. I thought somebody was palpating it uh, palpating the uh, whenever I saw like the rise and I'm like I this looks like the Palpatine kind of plot and I was actually like oh I wonder if somebody's gonna go ahead and do something but no it's just people being retarded <laughs> yeah oh shit my game What happened? Got him in the ball. Uh, it just, wait, I think it just bounced off because it just like that. And I was all over the place. Oh, rubber banding? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant foliage. 
whatever that means. I'm gonna get some coal. We don't need it right now, but you know. Eh, you'll need it in the future. Oh shit, um, I'm already at full, uh, full inventory. There you go. Like, I'm at 382 out of 400. Need to I'm drop some? Huh? I said, oh, do yeah, you need yeah, to drop yeah. some? I got uh, plenty of carry space. Yeah, here you go. I'll go ahead and keep mining it then. Yeah, I'm at 204 out of 450. Yeah. Oh, hold up, actually, I mean, my work speed is like 350 and my weight is like 400. How about this? Um, I'll keep upgrading my weight so I'm like the pack meal and you keep upgrading your work speed so that you can build shit fast. Uh, actually, work speed is kind of uh, useless because once you get an Anubis, um, yeah, they can they build everything pretty much almost instantly. So, like, oh, okay, even if then. even if you uh, upgrade your work speed, they like work four times faster than you. So. That's fair then. Yeah. So what I mainly focus on is usually uh, where uh, weight. Uh, Stamina and health is what I mainly focus on. What? Uh, okay, well. One time I did I did do a uh, attack based character so attack attacks. build. Yeah, uh, it, it was a little difficult because like what? I had to put a lot of points in attack and I had to uh, build pals around uh, my attack. Like uh, I had to have two gob fins uh, because they boost the player's attack. And uh, all my pals had uh, Vanguard. I bred them where they had Vanguard on them. So it would boost my attack even further. So. I was doing decent damage. Okay, that fucking confused me. <laughs> Not the Vanguard thing, but the. Like, I shot once and it just I just saw like a flash of light. And I was like, hold up, did my crossbow just do that? <laughs> You can take that chest. Get some arrows, gold, and small palsol. What? Oh, palsols yeah. are useful. Yeah. Okay, so... Boss room is not in here. Yep. Oh, well. Yes. My ear. Okay, I'm good. Out of the way, Daydream. <laughs> yeah. The classroom is not there. Hold up, maybe it's over here. Uh, it's to the right, most likely. Okay. Ooh. I'm stuck behind the torch. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. In here, then? Oh. Yeah, it should, it should be down this way, I think. Uh, there's two paths over here. Ah. Uh, there, right over here. I mean, I'm faster, so I'm gonna go ahead and look to the right. Then... To the right? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the one towards the right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's like a. I think there's a. Oh shit, I fell in the water. We'll take a sneak peek and see what we got to fight up against. Yep. Have you ever played D&D yourself? No, I have not. <laughs> I mean, it, so, it sounds fun. Uh, it sounds fun, but I'm not that uh, creative on my toes. Uh, it's eek fear deer. Uh, give me... Oh, shit. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, do you see, like, water on top of me? Yes, I do. <laughs> what the? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> uh, hold up. Maybe if... 
we tried dismounting and yeah hold up i mean it's not about yeah it, it works now it wasn't bothering me to be fair but it was funny <laughs> who do you think i should uh mrs hands or big big bird who do you think is gonna be better here uh... A big bird. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and quit big bird then. Okay, and... <gasps> let's start. Attack, penguin! <laughs> Got one of the deers. Yep. <laughs> okay, hold up. Let's see if I can catch it. Hold up. Yeah. Call your pals back. I think we. I think we're actually. Yeah, I did. To this thing. There you go. Nice. Good job. You want the boss? Do you want the boss there so you can ride it or no? Uh, well, you can keep it. I, I've, I've caught a uh, Ixir deer outside. It does, it's not a boss, but I caught an Ixir deer earlier. Very well. Let's go ahead and upgrade my weight. Which chest you want, left or right? I'll take the right one. All right. What do I got? Oh, high grade tech manual and Ruby. That's the same wad I got. That's the exact same. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay. I'm feeling kind of confident now. Uh, do you think uh, we can take the boss after we, we get resupplied? Uh, yeah, we could try it. I'm not sure I'm going to be much help, but <laughs> I can try it. <sighs> uh, any help is good help. Plus, if I go ahead and... Actually, hold on. What level are you? I am level 7. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get you a little bit beefed up first. Yeah. Maybe capturing a couple of pals. But yeah, I'll meet you back at base. I'm heading right there to deposit the stuff that I got. Okay. <laughs> right, you, did you just teleport back to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm just no use to teleport yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm already back at base. <laughs> I was looking around. I was getting some stuff. Uh, Picking up stuff enough. off the ground. <laughs> Hello. Let me get out of here. Okay, let's go ahead and depo uh, I'm gonna deposit some of this stuff. Yep, we got the... Uh, I'm putting the Mao in here. And I'm thinking back. I'm getting the big deer. Uh, what should I name this guy? It's a female deer. Female deer. Mm. Bambi's mom. <laughs> Bambi's mom. <laughs> okay, but you have to get a rifle and shoot it later. Okay. <laughs> Bambi's mom. Have you ever played a Nuzlocke? A Nuzlocke? No. No, no, I'm not a hardcore gamer. <laughs> Neither Just am I casual. Bad. I mean, well, I did play a Pokemon one once. And it was not very fun for me. <laughs> I mean, I ended up eventually beating the game, but... Yeah, just... Not my style of fun. <laughs> the funniest Nuzlocke that I've seen was uh, Team Four Stars one. Because they were doing like the Pokemon Sun and Moon kind of Nuzlocke, and I remember they went through like four streams without any losing any Pokemon at all. And then the mo moment the guy uh, Lanny Pator left for like some business trip, they lost like this two, like two, three of the ones that he was really that he really liked out of them. <laughs> and he was pissed about that to the point that he actually called them midstream, and he was like, "You motherfuckers." <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, just imagine. Okay, if playing Lost Luck by yourself is one thing. Imagine playing Lost Luck with somebody else, and they are the ones that lost your shit. Yeah. That's... Especially when you were like out, uh, like on a break or like out doing something else. I'm doing some of the beer, by the way. Okay. Good. I also know that the, one of the mods that I, I saw here was to make ammo cheaper, but it doesn't work. It only works with the fishing village. The other ones don't work. Uh -huh. So, like one bullet is like uh, for like a nine mm pistol, for example, it's like uh, like two or three gold. Pretty cheap, but only there. Hmm? By the way, I know that you used to stream. Do you? You don't have any of the uh, bots from that time, right? Oh, the bot, the the scam bots. Is that what you're talking about? Not the bots. Uh, the bots. Uh, the video. Uh, oh, you, oh, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, they're on my old channel. Uh, still, I think. Uh, if you look up Uncase the Mace, that was my old channel. Uh, they're nothing but a bunch of chaos, because I used to uh, be a chaos streamer. Like, I was one of the original people that uh, allowed people to spawn stuff. Um, like I was playing Skyrim and let people spawn stuff on them, and then I moved to Valheim, let people spawn stuff on me on Valheim. So it was Jesus. It was chaos, like like on Valheim. I swear, uh, there was one guy, Seymour uh, Skylines. Uh, oh, Seymour, he would spawn in like freaking hundred golems. It was like, holy shit. <laughs> Did they have to, like, donate something for that, or...? What? Um, well, I, I, made, I made them use channel points. Because I like to keep it free. Wow. You know? Um, now, I did do a charity stream once where people had to pay to do that. But, uh, yeah. I remember there's this, uh... Well, the I haven't seen them in a while because I like watching D and D stuff in boat in bulk. So <coughs> uh, I'm actually gonna start watching it again. But it was like this my hero uh, D and D stuff that they were doing, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember they have this system where they have like hero points and rerolls, and the chat can actually uh, pay for uh, pay to give them uh, give the heroes rerolls and or hero points or pay to give the villains hero uh, villain points or rerolls. Right. There's also this thing called 2420 or 24-1, in which you donate $20 at the next roll, no matter what it is, it's a natural 20 or a natural 1. What? Do you know yeah. what that means? Yeah, 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 I know, yeah, I know all about the dice rolls. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, I know some things about D and D, but I'm just uh, I'm not creative creative enough, you know, to think on my feet to make it interesting, you know, for a character. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I no, I remember this one guy who actually who oh shit, my battery's slow. Give me one second, I'm gonna get headphones. Uh, but yeah, I remember there's this one guy who kind of did that thing, but he made it interesting by. His character was like, you know, every, but every other character was like, uh, oh, this one's an heiress, and this one's an ex-terrorist, this one's like a rogue uh, assassin kind of person with a backstory. You want to know what his character was? What? Hi, I'm Samsung. Uh, yeah, these guys met me, I was working at the convenience store, and they kind of got me fired, so now I'm just with them because they're paying me. <laughs> <laughs> That was his backstory, and he was one of the funniest characters. Um, I remember it was a Pokemon D&D uh, &D, uh, thing, and I think the guy who was playing Sansom eventually couldn't play anymore for some reason. So the entire group got a collective use of Sansom, 
And one of the funniest remember you know what a Mimikyu does if you see under the uh, under the under the cloth, right? Yeah, yeah. So the enemies were like these two ninjas, and I remember they were fighting. They had a Mimikyu fight uh, on their side, and Samsung walks up to the Mimikyu, picks him up, and like uh, goes towards the other guy and like, "Hey, check this out!" lifts the skirt, of the, lifts the uh, back of the Mimikyu facing the other guy, and then the Mimikyu just like Japanese ghost style who gets on the guy's face. <laughs> So yeah, Samsung was really funny, even though, you know, uh, creatively he wasn't like the most um, creative character at all, I'll be honest with you. And I mean, right. yeah, there's, there's some stuff that, you know, you can have stuff against, oh, hold up, oh, cool. I got a technology point out of reading that book. I remember uh, one of my favorite characters also. Uh, it's also one of my least favorite people, but... I mean, you know, I can enjoy a character without uh, linking it to the same to the real life person, you know? Yeah, yeah. What? Are you fucking kidding me? I just put a stone in this box that I had in my inventory, and I just walked away and I picked up a stone from the ground. <laughs> uh, so it's, no, you must have stone. <laughs> stone. Stone for the stone god. Stone god. <laughs> I need to get somebody to draw that now. Stone god. Just as uh, the dread locks and it's just hitting on it. On the bong. Hold up, let me see my technology because I remember I just I didn't just level up but I leveled up a little bit. Oh cool! And I can actually get the sphere workbench now, but the thing that I wanted to get is these torches. No, not that. Don't you love it when you get your buttons mixed up with other games? When we get the what? When you get your buttons mixed up with other games. <laughs> oh, I love that so much, especially when it comes to um, sensitivity, because every other game that I play, I always use max sensitivity. Except for uh, Shadow of War, <laughs> which I have to keep it at medium, or it's it's not it's unplayable. Uh -oh. oh hey, man uh, eating worry, wild wilds. I was about to say, don't worry, Big Bird has this. Uh, they're just across the hill, so. I'm gonna go ahead and meet them there before they get to the base. Um, uh, okay. Oh. There's wolves here if you want some. Never mind, I just killed one. <laughs> There's a singular wolf going towards you. Yeah, it passed me. <laughs> In the ball. I don't know why the bird's not attacking. Big bird's not attacking them. And lag is making me miss all these shots. Oh, you just shot these killed islander. <laughs> oh. oh shit! Everything's chaos. <laughs> Just hit me, what the hell? What? Oh! Yeah, you hit the first. You hit oh, that I, I hit down. him? Yeah. What the hell is he doing over here anyway? <laughs> okay. It's Let me it's just. It's... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to try and oh. see if I can capture. Ah, uh, that's sad. I'm gonna take this one off. 
I hear. Oh, criminal activity on the way. Yeah, uh, we pretty much need to kill ourselves, <laughs> so we'll stop being wanted. Yeah. I actually found a way to get rid of that. I just, oh. just need a flying pal, though. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Go straight up. Yep, and just see them spawning over and over yeah. until, like, it goes away. Yeah. Huh. Oh shit, you're done? Yeah, I did it myself. Oh. Nope. Man, let me go ahead and... Because I didn't want them to just damage the armor, you know? That's fair. Yeah. I don't know how many pal spears I've used so far, but I'm gonna keep doing it until I catch this. Hmm. This guy. Come on. Yeah. Gonna be working the plantation whether you like it or not. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have said that in the accent. <laughs> <Yeah. Yes. laughs> I mean if any accent is gonna say that, I think it's that one. Yeah. I just keep throwing balls at this person. Did oh no. Just... <laughs> yeah, I should not do that. I should not jump up on there without a glider. <laughs> that was saying you're skyrocketing. It does it now, actually. Yeah. I kind of want to try that now, but I'm gonna still try to capture this fucker. I Got think it. I used over 20 balls. That doesn't surprise me. Humans are hard to catch. Yeah, it's annoying, but it's also worth catching them this time because they actually do. They actually have decent stats, or because of the mod that I installed. Like yeah, they it's like for carry, for maintenance, for water, for like planting, for gathering, yeah. for medicine. Let's see, do you know the easy trick to kill a black merchant? Uh, no, actually. No? Uh, do you know where black? These, I do know where they are. Well, how about the easy trick to kill a PDI, uh, PIDEF agent? Uh, I, well, if one is stationary, like by the small village, I can probably do it like that, but I can't do it while they're moving, while they're running around. Like the ones right behind the, you? Yeah, yeah, like the ones right there. I'm just going to stay here until they go away. You're gonna be there for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm just eating. Oh shit. They almost figure out that they can round the corner. Oh well. Well, I wait for these guys to go away. Um. This is a talking stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, that guy hit me first. Right, but they don't go after him. <laughs> it's not yeah. fair, right? This will have to be level fucking forty. But yeah, <laughs> one of the only things that, yeah, I think when it comes to uh, playing D&D, &D, um, it's easier to be a player, obviously, because when you're DM, you have to write the story, write the characters, voice many characters, make the maps, uh, keep uh, track of the stats and kind of deal, you know? Yeah. But I find it fun. But hell, even if you're not like, I know that you're like, you cannot come up with stuff on the fly, but that literally can be the character right there. I'm gonna try it on this P 
PDF infiltrator right here. Let's see. Yeah, they're stationary right now because they don't know how to get past me. Oh. See me? No, it did not work. What was the trick? Uh, I was going to catch him in the hanging trap and then light a fire under him and let him burn to death. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have to be moving to get trapped in that, right? No, they don't. If you place it just right, they don't. Uh, let's see. I guess they cannot get trapped right, let, me, then. let me try it again. Let's see it here. But he's like stuck on this ledge, so I don't know if he's. Damn. No. Doesn't appear maybe that it's gonna maybe work. Build, build a couple of them around them, and then I'll start moving and see if they get trapped. Okay. I'll see. Oh, oh, there's one over here in the water. Let me see if I can get him. There's actually one in the water? Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't see him. He's just been pointing at me. Oh shit, he's shooting at you. Shit. I didn't... Hold the fuck? Okay, get up. Going up. Can they nope, he went right else? over it. Okay, I'm heading in the attic. Are oh, you hiding on the roof? Okay. No, like, I actually have a secret attic. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're all out here just glitched. Oh, I got one! One one got caught in the trap. <sighs> oh, shit, that's good. <laughs> Let me see here if I can build a fire under him. This is alert. There's, like, one underneath. That is actually really cool that you can do that. I think there's one in our house. Oh! What? It broke? They despawned. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm in the secret attic, by the way. I think you, you're watching stream, so you can see that. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. When I built it, I thought there might be a way to build ladders later on. But I know, I now now I know that it, there isn't. So there's just been always this like secret attic room. <laughs> Let me go ahead and disassemble this wall right now. There, the secret attic's open now. What? Oh. I will say that I do need to work out in like 20 minutes, so let's go ahead and get our stuff ready. And I'm gonna... We might fail, but we're, let's go ahead and try uh, fighting the first boss. Make sure everything is sorted. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop off the wood that I have on me for some reason. Grab some more arrows. I sometimes I think that I'm, you know, I remember one time I was like, maybe I'm not cut out to do streaming because I'm kind of stupid. Uh, and then I remember seeing fucking, um, what was it? There were uh, these guys having a fallen argument and how the jumping rule works on Uno, and they didn't understand it. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be surprised, I mean. <laughs> maybe I'm too smart to be a streamer. <laughs> <gasps> no, I. What was it? The fucking Niji Sanji shit. Uh, did, did one of them got uh, they got in trouble by eating cake or something like that? Did they? I remember because they um uh, they were like we're gonna try we're doing a stream where they were gonna eat every single cake of like Starbucks and like rated. 
and somebody was like, well, Starbuck is somebody that supports, like, uh, that support, that doesn't support the, like, shit in, um, in Palestine and shit like that. So, like, you know, then she got in trouble for that. <laughs> and she, uh, she did the one thing I never tell people to do, that, that I tell people to never do, and that is apologize. Yeah. Like, never apologize. Yeah. If you apologize, it means that they, you basically, it shows that you're weak, and it shows that you... Uh, that it, by them uh, fucking nagging like children at you all day, they you will be doing what they want you to do. So you know. Yeah. Uh, hey, I forgot that I could teleport there. Give me one second. I'm on the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here watching you on stream. I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at, I was absolutely just walking and talking. But then again, I also don't uh, don't like uh, the company Niji. And I remember somebody was like, "Oh, none of them did anything wrong like this talent." And I was like, "Well, technically, one of them was bullying somebody to the point that they almost self-deleted." So unless the company tells us who it is, I think that everybody is that. And unless they tell us and specifically, I will go ahead and assume everybody is that. You know? Right. Right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Join the boss fight. And give me one second while I switch through my pals. Okay, we're good. Full tipping in boss battle? Yep. A boss battle? Okay. Let's watch this animation because I actually haven't seen this one in a while. No, he's her name, that's right. I kept forgetting her name. Right, Zoe. Jesus Christ, was there so much art of her? <laughs> yeah, you're not lying. I still remember when, um. Instantly, Sword and Shield well. first came Yeah, when Sword and Shield first came out, like all that other. all those years ago. I remember that Nessa was announced, and I immediately was like, I wonder. Looked her name up, and there was like. It wasn't even 10 minutes, and there was already like, uh. So much art, and just like. High quality art, too. And where is she? There she is! Oh no. Fox thing! Earlier than I thought to. The box thing actually went ahead and did some good damage there. Oh, Ooh, the fox is down. And I'm stuck between them and the wall! I'm stuck between them and the wall! Oh no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay. So, Ooh. um, the or you're up. <laughs> Targeting me with that laser there for a minute. Deer is now up. I got a headshot on it. I'm gonna. I think I've used like 40 arrows and we're still like around here. Oh fuck, it's running after me. Yeah, it's on your butt. <laughs> <laughs> shit, 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 shit. God fucking damn it! Ooh, I ran into it! Ooh. Oh, this is not uh, the time to get hungry. This is not the time to get what? Hungry, my character's hungry. Oh. And what? paralyzed. And God. Who the fuck is Kim Mitchell and why are they calling me? No idea. I don't know who that is, but I'm hanging up. <laughs> Oh, 
We're like halfway there, I think. I hit her for 300 damage. Oh, I got hit. Yeah, we're almost halfway there. We're doing okay. I'm getting targeted. Except, except I'm out of arrows. Uh, okay. I have like 150. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so deer is down. Uh, I think Big Bird. It's up to you now. <laughs> Oh, you have to fog this thing like that, huh? I'm getting targeted. Targeting me so much that it's now running into a wall. Shit. Got me. Are you down? No. Nope. Not yet. Oh my god, look at this. What, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I told you, I told that. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. I swear to god, if I, if the only bad thing about it is that when you capture it, it doesn't re-register that they're defeated, so you have to do oh, it really? all over again. Yeah, so that's why I was like, oh shit. That if sucks. it had worked that first time, I would have I would have been both happy and miserable because we just spent this time doing this for nothing. Hurt! And I ran up into the open for a second. Yeah. We're gonna get it. Yeah, Lily was definitely a harder fight than this. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, broken shield. I just barely got that. Like 2,000, no way. And... Down to Akumos, damn. Oh, it does super effective damage against it, because it's got ground attack. Oh, that was the case, I should have got my... Got it. Nice. Oh shit, look at her! <laughs> She started glitching on the floor. Oh, there she is. Look at <laughs> She started glitching on the floor. <laughs> okay. So, unfortunately, I think that it's gonna be it for today's stream, but hey, we managed to finally beat... I managed to finally beat Zoe with your help. No problem. <laughs> you pretty much did it yourself. <laughs> I was so low level, I didn't have very many arrows. And... I mean, you're level 9 now. Yeah. My pals my pals did a, quite a bit of damage, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, they helped thanks. you out a little bit. <laughs> so let me go but it was fun. Yeah, it was actually really fun. Well, anybody who's watching this in the bots, or anybody else there, uh, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow on YouTube and Patreon, and see you guys later.